Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Dynamic Billiard European Pool Championships here in Antalya, Turkey. It's the eight ball discipline, of women's, and what a match! Belarusia's Margarita Fefilova up against Russia's Kristina Tkac. This is a winner's qualification round. Winner books her place into the single elimination the loser will have to fight another match to get there last round of the evening here in Turkey see in the background there just from that shot there was Poland's Olivia Zalewska You can watch all the matches here in Antalya live at www.kazoom.com. Still lots of action. We've got the team finals concluding tomorrow. And we've still got the eight ball finals to come on Monday. And then we have the nine ball finals still to go. Here we are in the eight ball discipline. Margarita to break off rack number one. Oh, she just got surrounded there, that cue ball. Made the ball off the break. made a solid off the break she hasn't got a good shot on the solid either really the one is sitting up on the rail she's surrounded by stripes but the problem is the seven ball is in front of the pocket with the 14 stripe in front of it so if she takes the stripes which are available to her She's going to have that one as a bit of a problem. As you can see there, surrounded by stripes, that cue ball. Oh, Margarita elected the stripes. Didn't really have a lot of choice there. You see to the top right of the corner there as we look, you have the 14 stripe sitting right in front of the 7. The Margarita needs to play another stripe and let the cue ball, or another ball obviously, run down and knock that 7 in via the stripe. As long as she pots her own ball first, it doesn't matter if the 7 drops she'll be able to continue on the table she's going to try and slide this one down the side and break that open yeah what a great shot using the red 11 just nudging that 7 out of the way now table is open Eliminated the problem already. We should be taking this twelve ball to the top corner. see there sort of pink 12 stripe so it's a 10 and 9 thereabouts because it was a cluster of stripes as she started this match
three stripes remaining for Margarita and they're all in the center of the table. You see them all in the same picture there. Ten, fifteen, and eight. Eight go into either of the bottom pockets, so it just depends on the position she gets onto the fifteen. Come off the rail, she's going to put a little bit of a bounce on there. Got to be careful she doesn't let the cue ball run too much and get obscured by that two ball which is closest to the eight needs to maybe go round or no she's trusting the roll looks like she's okay and this eight ball for first blood and a very nice break and run Superb shooting there from Margarita Fefilova. Back in Europe and Christina breaking in rack two. Very nice break as well from Christina. All the balls nicely split. Cue ball dead center almost that's a very good break to study actually for you that like playing eight ball if you can get cue ball sort of center of table you should be able to choose which shot is next solids or stripes of course you always get a kick here and there eight ball 15 balls on the table the law of averages is going to tell you you ain't going to get a clean smooth ride every time but when you can center of table is perfect place to be Stripes would be the one to take, and she's started with that. Roll this 12 down the side rail. I think here now she should, yeah, she's looking there, should take the red 11 stripe to the center pocket. Should we go up table a little bit and back and then she will or should be on the brown 15 to the same pocket that eliminates the top two and then she's got to work on the bottom two stripes still remaining just let it bounce off the top or just roll past if you can use the cushion if you need to well she got a little bit heavy on that one I think 
I think she intended to stay a little bit higher and take the brown stripe 15 into the center overrun it so now she's got to change plans plan B that'll be the 14 now Got to play the 10 and go back up for the 15. And that angle may certainly makes this shot a little bit more difficult than what it needed to be. She's got the 15 goes between the 5 and the 1. But the way the angle is. Can she keep it in front of the seven? So she's got a shot on the eight, or is she going to try and squeeze between the gap, or use the gap between six and seven? If that's straight, she'll be drawing back. And that, I think, is a little problem. That was such a small margin there. On a shot with a ten ball, didn't understand why she didn't take the cue ball up the table a little bit. She had the choice then, maybe center pocket, the other pocket, had a better control oh, she's getting jump stick out airborne on the eight ball this would be a shot to make the opponent just broke and ran you've broke and almost ran and this to finish the rack Uh, it wasn't a B. Made the shot, but not the pot. I think a selection of position there after the 10 ball. She played the 10 to the corner, had the 15 still up the table. I think that cost her, at least if Margarita can punish her, that would have cost her the chance to run this rack anyway put it that way four ball is an issue there for Margarita I'm not sure if it's offered a cushion and how close it is to the knuckle of that center pocket it is slightly off the cushion so maybe it drops in the center and Margarita misses the three I think she was thinking already about that four ball there because there was a position where she could drop it into the center and a reprieve for Christina to catch she gets another bite of the cherry on this eight ball and makes no mistake this time levels the match up at 1-1 So Margarita Fefilava breaking in rack three, score at 1-1. One, one. Oh, the cue ball. Cue ball just got bumped in by the seven. Hit the knuckle first, but the seven made sure it was going to drop. Christina, ball in hand, of course, behind the head string. Eight ball, you don't get a free ride.
It's taking Christina a little bit longer, I fear, because of that two ball. Two and fifteen, just there. Remember, she's got the ball in hand behind the head string. She can take the one. Seven's over the pocket. I think there the five ball may be obscured to the corner as well. There you have Fedor Gorst, the new European straight pole champion on the left. And of course, one of his friends here from the Ukraine, Vitaly Patsura. Nice to see the guys in here watching the girls. Russian team leader also sitting over there next to Fedor almost. Christina really taking her time here, not not a hundred percent sure why. I think there you could argue that both sets are as equally attractive and therefore it's a bit confusing or confusing strong word but it's hard to make your mind up which one you would prefer whereas if it was an obvious choice it should have been halfway through the pack by now with all the ball splits nicely took her time thinking about the best way out of this and she can come for the four to the center pocket she could take the five to the corner I think four to the center Rather leave the five ball there for a little bit. She can roll up for the one next. Well now, with that position, she should be taking that two ball. Then the one. Take the two down the rail. There should be a golden rule in the rule book of teaching that when you get position once take it don't try and get the same position again she does that got the one five and seven remaining of her colors there seven hanging over the center pocket Five, just a little bit away from it. Well, that's changed a little bit. Of this, she's going to have to play a combination. Five to the seven. No risk if the five just goes past the pocket. She'll still have the top corner. She wants to try and keep it in front if she can. Perfectly done. And now it'll be a draw back across table and send the eight ball to the top right hand corner as we look. Just draw it out just over halfway line at the middle of that table there. That's looking good. This eight ball will give Christina to catch a steal off of Margarita's break and put her in the lead 2-1 she'll be breaking in the next to try and increase this lead so can Christina capitalize on Margarita's bad fortune in her break shot where the cue ball was bumped into the center by the seven Let's see what Christina's got.
Wow, nothing. What a golden opportunity that was. The one, is it the nine ball, just hanging near the centre pocket there. Margarita taking the stripes there. Gonna go across the other side. There's the green fourteen stripe. Next to the green six. The other centre pocket. No sense in trying to bridge over that two ball to take the stripes down the bottom of the table. May as well take the opposite side. Oh, she's looking at that though. Not sure the advantage of that. Could play the opposite side. Just go around the back of them. A little bit of bottom right English. Bounce off three rails. Come out somewhere between the 10 and the 11 stripe there bit higher if you can as well nicely done perfectly on for the 10 A similar shot here just going the other way bit of left English send it round two rails She can either play this with a bit more pace and go up table. But she has that brown 15 up top rail. And she's also got a couple of stripes on the side rail there. Has to start working and thinking about that end. Leave the red 11 because she's got to come back for the 8 ball. Now that shot tells me that she's probably going to take the 11 or can she see that 12 ball near the center pocket she's looking it is off the rail it's not frozen otherwise she wouldn't be going there she's got to carefully drop that in now she's got the 13, is it, on the rail. Yeah, so she's keeping the 11 to get position on the 8. She wants his 13. Then on to the brown 15. And get back down for the 11. got to watch her angle on the 15 because the 7 ball is playing a little role in a path to getting out of here that looks to be okay she's going to follow through with the cue ball here go off two rails and just get out in front that's what she's looking for there get out in front of the 7 to take the 11 to the corner would be nice if she can get a bit closer to the 11 won't have to do so much work on it to get a good position on the 8 
Number eight, obviously, squeezes between at one and five. And this eight ball will tie the match up at 2-2, two -two, courtesy of the dry break of Christina. So, the ball is back in Margarita's court. Well, got to give a shout out to someone on the chat tuning in from the Philippines. Welcome to the Dynamic Billiard European Pool Championships in Europe. We're in Antalya, Turkey. Beautiful seaside resort. Lovely hotel. Beach is only 200 meters from where we're sitting here. And the weather has been extremely warm warmer than the usual climate here in Turkey which is not bad anyway but 30 degrees it's been here today and last couple of days not usually as warm Dry breaks are creeping into this match. Started off nicely. Had a couple now. Christina in the last one. Margarita in this one. played that very very slowly I presume to be able to either cut the two in the center but I like the five in the center if she can get it five just in the middle there and she can and she's going for it to the center pocket It'll be good stun the cue ball because she's got the four there as well or let it run a little bit no harm done yet but a, a stun shot might have been more useful Six, two, four, and eight should be the path for Christina here to get her nose in front and go into the lead. She's on the six now. Or did she close the gap a little bit there by bumping into? stripe was it just bumped into the stripe there was a nice little gap there just to stun the cue ball it had gone through I think it was a 15 ball brown yeah prior to that kiss I think she had a nice little gap she still got one but it's a bit smaller now got to be very very careful playing with small margins here remember in a previous rack she tried to use a small gap between six and seven ended up behind the seven that's when she had to go airborne on the eight uh, Margarita cleared the rack from there so we've got to be very careful let's try maybe go around the table or she's got the angle there 
to go three rails and out. She's looking to maybe go two rails and take the four up table and play it with a bit of pace. It is a natural angle with right hand English. You go off the three rails and you'll be going through the blue ten stripe and the four ball. Don't really want to be too low there. It's risky. It's one pocket where you've got a big table in front of you. You can play reverse English and stay up there if you want. No, she's playing it soft. Well, she's on the four. She got out of that one nicely. Eight ball to centre. Four to lead. Three two. They have it. Christina Tkach into the lead. In Antalya, Turkey. And this is a winner's qualification match. Winner goes on to a single elimination. The loser has to play another match to get there. Christina in the driving seat, leading 3-2. Oh, where's the cue ball? Where's the cue ball? It's gone. Wow. Unfortunate kiss there. Very unfortunate. As I said earlier, in this match, with 15 balls flying around the table... It's not often you can keep that cue ball centre without a collision. And that took a very, very nasty collision. This will allow Margarita to get to the table here, ball in hand course behind the head string it is eight ball but the way she is playing she should be clearing these up and pulling the match level and it will be again advantage Margarita if she can she won the lag so she'll be breaking off in a hill hill match which Judging by these two players, it looks almost odds on. Both have had bad fortune, but both have been playing pretty well. She's going to take the four to the top corner. Goes past the nine ball. Or is it the other side? Surely not. Oh, it's on the nine ball. Did I miss? <laughs> really? Hmm.
Yeah. Just doing a bit of check in there. Missed the first shot there from Margarita, but there just saw. Couldn't squeeze that ball past the six, so it gives Christina the table. is a perfect opportunity for Christina here. Must admit I didn't expect Margarita to give the table back so easily. Christina won't mind. The one and the two ball. And then the eight. A little drawback on this one. We we'll take the two to the same pocket. She could roll through. That is an option. We're choosing the draw. Just look in there. Does the eight ball go past the striped ten ball? It obviously does. No hesitation there. Got a perfect angle, get position on this eight. Gotta control the cue ball. And she'll have a two rack advantage. Over the Belarusian, Margarita Fefilova. And there you have it. Margarita Fefilova breaking off in rack seven. Whoa. And a dry break again. The break has deserted her. The 15 really is hanging in the pocket. Bottom left as we look from the overhead really is hanging there's not a lot keeping that up and Christina very very unlucky there or oh, Margarita should say Christina's at the table Just overcooked that there. The pace. Letting that roll. Pink 12 next.
Just double checking on the position she needs. She's got to take the 10 ball up corner. But then she's looking at either the 9 or the 11. Back down the table. 15 is near the centre pocket. problem here for Christina is she needs to be that side of the table for them two shots really she's got the wrong side she can I'm sure the nine ball goes past first if it can if it does she should be taking a nine if she takes the 11 first it'll make it awkward she's on the nine Now she really wants to take care of this 14 near the rail. It's a good angle there. She'll send the 14 up to the top pocket or the bottom left as we look from the overhead. Got the angle just to bounce out enough for the 9. And to leave an angle to get on the other side of the black. Between the 1 and the 7 there. Possibly looking at dropping that into the center. I don't see why. Take it to the top corner, bottom left as we look from the overhead. It's perfect shot. Ball will be traveling out to the middle of the table. And she'll have the nine to the corner. But she's really, really looking to see if that can drop in the center. It's a risky shot. going to take the 11 first hmm well, she wants to get high on that 14 above the center pocket the only reason I didn't like this way round is the 8 ball it doesn't go in the bottom corner. The one is the gatekeeper there. She's quite straight on this, so you just gonna have to roll it down, trust the table, and send eight to the center pocket. And this very important eight ball I'll put Christina on the hill, leading 5 2, and she'll be breaking next. Oh, what a good shot! Christina playing quite solid. It has only been the odd dry break and the unfortunate kiss on the cue ball that has allowed Margarita to take a couple of racks really Christina quite dominant when the balls stay on the table rack 8 and she's made a ball at least and she's got a reasonable shot on the stripes there
actually got the easy 12 there by the centre pocket. Only thing is, there's no other stripes up the top end of the table. So she's going to have to try and avoid the 6 and the 4 to get back out if she takes that. She could choose to take the green stripe 14 to the top corner. They're the two options for her at the moment. She don't think she can get past there. Down the back of the two. So it's the 12 to the center or the 14 to the corner. Twelve to the center it is. Whoa. That certainly used the knuckles. Played it with a bit of pace. Not sure if she's been rewarded. Can she? Yeah, I think she can get to the ten ball that is over the pocket, but she can also Also play the green 14 down the rail. Only issue with that is if she kisses the 10, she's going straight for the 10. Better option. The other way could have pushed the 10 safe somewhere. Mark White asking what the race is. It's a race to six, Mark. And Christina at the table is almost there. Not sure if that helped at all. She's got two stripes left. So orange 13 and the green 14 orange 13 just hiding just behind the two there I'm just going to try play safety stick the cue ball right behind that two and leave it for Margarita ah, good thinking obvious place to play this will be a thin slice of the two and send the cue ball up to the top rail okay Margarita will be able to see the 14 but it will be a 14-13 combination as long as Margarita get that cue ball up near the rail oh doesn't even need to do that didn't see if that was on And Christina now in a spot of bother. John on a chat there from the Philippines saying it is an intense rack it certainly is and Christina making a foul that was a tough one to get out of anyway 
But Margarita now, ball in hand. Can revive her chances here because he was looking a little bit down and dull as Christina was making ball by ball, only needing the last couple to finish the match. And drawing the cue ball back into the eight didn't help her. And a couple of shots later, and Margarita. There's a chance to peg one back here. A lot of work still to do. I think she was looking there, just drop the seven in and get over onto the side rail for the five. The four and six for Margarita is up the end of the table there. And she's got the three and the one sort of in the middle on this five on the rail. Eight ball does pass the nine to the corner pocket. So it's just a matter of controlling cue ball. Five shots and you'll be on the black. She's so going to use this one ball now to go up the table. Four to four and six. Not sure if you all can hear a little bit of plates crashing here and there. I have the chef and all the cooks of the hotel. I think they're doing a Greek dance or something where you break all the plates. Funny thing is they haven't been here for the whole week. So that's why we put ourselves here. And now all of a sudden every single Tom, Dick and Harry likes coming around here. See what we're doing. And they bring a few plates and see if they can smash them a few times. <laughs> Bit of fun. <laughs> anyway. Six and a three. And then to the eight. You should draw cue ball cross table here. Just maybe bump in to the stripe 13 there. She'll have the 8 up the top. She's looking for the middle. Yeah, save her just the bump in front of it is better. You can take the 8 up the table. Reduce the deficit. Ended up on the rail. 
It's only a, makes it a little bit difficult. She's looking there where the cue ball is going to go. And there is centre pocket comes into play. If she's not careful. It'll just roll the eight up the rail. Cue ball frozen to the rail. It's not easy to get any kind of shot on there. Oh, great shot there. Margarita breaking off in rack nine. Trailing five, three. Made the ball off the break, so she can continue. Uh, Kit John from the Philippines is asking how big is the pool table. It's a nine foot pool table. A little shy of three meters. And uh, pocket size is here at the mouth, so that's the widest part at the front, is 110 millimeters, so 11 centimeters. And those of you who have the pool tables in your pool clubs, the leisure tables, the pockets are around 13, so 130, 135. These are the match tables, tighter pockets. Although some say not tight enough. So just looking there, she's got the little problem to solve of the couple of stripes just behind or close to the eight ball. She will be able to do that if she gets that position, because she's going to take the 15, which is the lower of the stripe.
There is an option actually. She could take the 12 stripe, let the cue ball split them up, but with that shot you're not sure where your object balls will end up. So better to avoid that. Take the 15, which is the bottom of the stripes first. Looks like she's going that way. That's well done. Margarita just looking where the cue ball is going. I'm not sure if the other stripe, 13, which is close to the 8, does he go past the 3 to this bottom right corner as we look on the overhead? If it doesn't, there ain't a lot of places that he can go. I think he must go past that 3. It's the way she's looking. Got to be careful she doesn't get stuck behind the six ball. I use at least one rail. Maybe put a bit of reverse English to hold it. Or use two rails. Uh, she has just kept it just below the six, so she's got a chance. For this 13, but again, she might just clip the 8. She's a bit low. Risk was playing to try and get between the 4 and 6. That's risky. Christina's tried that a couple of times. Both times got hooked. Marita leaving it a bit low to be sure she gets a shot on this 13. Doesn't want to clip the 8. Well, she did, but where's the cue ball going? That was always going to be the issue. wasn't the result that Margarita wanted. Christina on the hill. She's jumping to stay in the match. Wow! <laughs> what a great shot! What a terrific shot! Remember, she's under pressure here. Christina on the hill. And Margarita chasing the game. Have a couple of rounds of the eight ball still to go. And then we concentrate on the teams tomorrow with the team's finals tomorrow evening. And you can watch all of those matches live at www.kazoom.com. As we return to this table, Christina Takach on the hill, breaking for the match. This match does have all the hallmarks of a hill hill before we started. It would 
have been hard to separate either of these two ladies as it's going now it's looking good for a hill hill thriller I'm going to be stretching for this 10 ball. They've got the red 11 next to it. She wants to take that as well next because the other three stripes are a bit further up the table. I'm sure she's got the angle just to stun the cue ball there. Because the red 11 will go opposite corner. And it'll give, you see, with the uh, Margarita a chance to uh, get out of there and get up table for the others. I had to bump into it, but she's okay. Now there's a bit more room down there. She might opt to leave that there because of the bridging action as well. More so because of the bridging that she would have to do to get over for that 11 would have been nicer to get that out the way first then you can concentrate on the other three eight balls on the side in the open so coming from up there to the eight ball would have been easier now she's got to remember come back down where's the cue ball wow <laughs> that's uh, playing there that's a couple of centimeters away but looked a little more dangerous from a lower angle. But as I was saying, because of the 11 down the table, the last shot is not going to be as comfortable as she would have liked, especially now being so close to the rail there. It's going to be hard to get out to get a good position on the 12 ball, I think it is. Well, that's a good shot as well. She could have been in trouble there, but she's now got a chance to get this 11 out the way. 8 has not been touched, so it's still okay. So she can play this 11, get position on the 12. She'll be okay for that 8. Be careful, don't get tangled up with that two. Oh, I think she actually potted the two, played into the two. That was that's what she was worried about getting a little bit hooked with that too and didn't pay attention to the shot took her eye off the ball a little two ball did drop I think cannot see it anywhere else but Margarita failed to pot the 11 
And Christina now with a chance to close out this match. Six more balls required to enter the single elimination stage for Christina. Just the angle on the one and seven. You see there a little bit offline so yeah you can take the three but you gotta get down below the one and seven to have a better choice of pockets and choosing to split them and a good choice that is she needed it to do something only option was to go behind to pot them up table and Christina found a way to break them take the six up top of the table oh she's gonna take the one now she can get the cue ball between the one and eight so this one to the bottom right corner as we did look Six, seven, and eight required, and that'll be match to Christina. There you have it. That superb jump shot from Margarita on the eight ball in the previous rack. Kept her going for a bit longer. But eventually it looks like Christina Takac will take this match with this eight ball. Uh, she does nicely. That puts Christina into the single elimination which is tomorrow. But uh, we have still another round for Margarita Fefilova in the loser's qualification. See if she can get into the single elimination as well. Plenty of matches still going and you can watch it all at www.kazoom.com. Results can be found at the EPBF website. Thanks for being with us. Look out for another match tomorrow on the EPBF Facebook page. Hope you enjoyed it. Sorry about all the background noise with the kitchen staff. I'll go and chop a few sushis. See you all again tomorrow. Good night.